being mechanosensitive, thermosensitive, and chemosensitive, it, it fires extra impulses. It's AIGS, and that stands for Abnormal Impulse Generating System. This is in the notes, so you don't necessarily need to write it down. And it fires impulses both proximally and distally. So that's why Butler advocated treating the entire neural container, which is why I started scraping the entire neural container. But in terms of mobilization, again, just because someone has carpal tunnel-like complaints doesn't mean they need the wrist mobilized. What if that AIGS is underneath the bi is between the bicep and the tricep? So you can do that. Or why not wind it up and do depressions? Why not wind it up and do distractions? Why not wind up everything and do supinations? You can do wrist extensions, you can do finger extensions, you can do this, you can do circumductions, you can do this, you can have them repeatedly rotate their head away. You can the oscillation can be anywhere where there's a joint. It doesn't only have to to be this or this, which is the most common one. 